Hello everyone and welcome to Half Sagged again. I know I've been away for a while, um, but I'm back with the signal detection theory today since it was highly requested. So I hope it helps. Okay. Um, yes. And what am I going to tell you here? Yes, you can use my code HAF10 for 10% off on your Unacademy subscription. I'm the psychology educator there for English. An Academy is a wonderful place where you can find me and other amazing educators as well. All you have to do is go to the top right and you'll see an An Academy logo. You click there, go to my page, you'll find all of my videos. Um, and I know this video is free for absolutely everybody. If you would like to get more dedicated support, what you can do is you can go ahead and subscribe if you want. and. Um, there you can use my code to get a 10% off. That sounds like a very good deal, doesn't it? All right, let's get started for today. Um, as you know, I'm Hafsa and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the signal detection theory. So basically, what do we measure here? I know you've heard about, let's change the color a little bit. All right, I know you have heard about a just noticeable difference. You must have by now, otherwise I'm going to clear it up in the future. Um, just noticeable difference and then absolute threshold and all of that and subliminal perception okay um, if you would like videos on those please request and i shall put them up okay so what signals are we detecting really basically we do not measure what people actually see um, what we actually measure is what they say they see jaise ki hum ab measure kar rahe hain experiment mein ki kisi ne kya dekha but hame actually pata nahi hai unhone kya dekha hum bas ye predict kar sakte hain ya unse pooch sakte hain ki unne unhone kya dekha okay so it's basically what the person says they saw rather than what they actually saw um, basically we are saying that okay everything is not as it seems all right that is the whole point of this that is the essence of this theory so it suggests that non sensory factors influence what the subject says he or she senses and what are these non sensory factors ye kaun se factors hain jo hamare uh, responses hamare decision making daily life mein ya is experiment mein influence karte hain okay um, so what controls the way we um, respond or how we make our decisions basically right um, so there are sensory factors and then there are non sensory factors which also play a role here in our decision making process because what we are doing in the end is making a decision to say whether i heard something or not and what plays a role here my experiences my past experiences my motives my motivation to see something or to not see something and my expectations now let us see i have previously heard the ice cream truck come by my lane and i know what kind of a sound it makes so i know how to differentiate it between um sort of the ambulance that comes right so i am able to differentiate because i have had a previous experience right my previous experience is helping me differentiate or recognize differentiate and recognize right all right now that i recognize what do i need to do next my motives so let's say especially when i'm hungry or when i'm craving sweet i want to hear the sound of the ice cream truck so each time whether any car passes by or any bell that i hear in the uh, colony reminds me of the ice cream truck why because i'm hungry or i'm craving sugar and what i really would like right now is to have some ice cream or to eat something all right so basically i would be motivated to hear a certain thing and then expectation so i know at around 4 pm every day the ice cream truck comes around so at 4 pm any car or any bell that i hear maybe it's the school near my house that's going off ringing bells because kids are leaving i mean not right now but you know in the normal time uh, right but i expect the i expect the ice cream truck to come so i just hear each time i hear a bell i think of the ice cream truck all right okay so what happens while people are responding especially in this particular experiment we can hear again say that there are personality factors in how people respond and there are also situational factors right that is what we see here our motives can be based on the situation also our experience can form our personality right so there is personality and there are also situational factors now let's look at what is exactly happening so a cautious person when shown something might want to be very very careful 
सी इफ़ आई एम अ वेरी केयरफुल पर्सन अगर मैं बहुत एक केयरफुल पर्सन हूँ तो मैं आई विल वॉन्ट बी श्योर मैं श्योर होना चाहूँगी अपने रिस्पॉन्स का कि मैंने कुछ सुना या मैंने नहीं सुना क्या मैंने आइसक्रीम ट्रैक ट्रक की आवाज़ सुनी या मैंने एम्बुलेंस की आवाज़ सुनी मैं दो तीन बार चेक करूँगी मैं तभी कुछ बोलूँगी जब मैं श्योर हूँ कि हाँ मैंने सुना है पर्टिकुलर वो एक पर्टिकुलर चीज़ सो दैट वुड बी अ कॉशियस पर्सन हु वुड वॉन्ट टू मेक वेरी वेरी श्योर बिफोर दे थिंक दे हर्ड समथिंग राइट बिफोर सेइंग before actually saying oh i heard something even if they think it okay let's let's move down a little and see what we have next on the other hand somebody who's not that careful and who's sort of okay with getting a response wrong and i mean it's okay to get something wrong right um so this person might have heard a tone where they say oh i heard the ice cream truck but it might really have been an ambulance and they do not mind being wrong because Uh, they're not very careful in what they say right and that's okay too now on the other hand this talks about personality factors let me also tell you that this can be because of situational factors as well ye situational factors ki wajah se bhi ho sakta hai ab socho maine aapko kaha ki agar aap sahi response denge matlab agar stimulus hai to aap sahi detect karenge let's say if you call a, an ambulance and ice cream truck i am not going to give you a reward but you if you call an ice cream truck the sound if you recognize it as the ice cream truck i will give you a reward so you will be motivated more towards focusing on the right response and trying to avoid what avoid any false hits right any false alarms whereas on the other hand if if there is a punishment um this is even more important okay so if there is a punishment for getting a wrong response or getting a miss um or not detecting correctly right or um, basically for a false alarm if there is a punishment let's say if i call it an ice cream truck but it was an ambulance outside um so my mom might make me do 20 sit up so i would really not want to make this mistake so that is when i'm going to be really really cautious as to what i say and what i think i am hearing okay that is that let's try to move what is happening what happened in the actual experiment um i hope so far you are understanding to yahan pe kya ho raha hai agar aapko punishment mil rahi hai false alarm ke liye तो आप बिल्कुल भी नहीं बोलेंगे कि आपने कुछ सुना अनलेस आप पूरे 100% परसेंट श्योर हैं ओके सो दीज आर एग्जाम्पल्स रेफरिंग टू पीपल रिस्पॉन्डिंग इन अ पर्टिकुलर वे ड्यू टू नॉन सेंसरी फैक्टर्स अब यहाँ पे सेंसरी परसेप्शन की बात नहीं हम कर रहे हैं वी आर थिंक टॉकिंग अबाउट कि दूसरे इफेक्ट्स क्या हैं जो आपकी नॉन सरी नॉन सेंसरी या सेंसरी परसेप्शन को क्या फैक्टर्स सपोर्ट करते हैं हम किस तरीके से रिस्पॉन्स देते हैं ऑल राइट right. सो so, यहाँ पे क्या मेजर हो रहा है वॉट डज द सिग्नल डिटेक्शन थियोरी एक्चुअली मेजर ओके सो दिस बेसिकली मेजर्स योर सेंजिटिविटी विच इज हाउ वेल डू यू हाउ वेल डू यू डिटेक्ट और हाउ वेल डू यू सी वॉट यू सी ओके हाउ कीन आर यू टू ऑब्जर्व समथिंग दैट इज योर सेंजिटिविटी कि अगर बाहर कोई लाइट फ्लिकर हो रही है क्या मुझे वो क्या मैं नोटिस कर रही हूँ या नहीं ओके okay? अगर बाहर कुछ साउंड हो रहा है एंड समबडी नीड्स माय हेल्प कोई हेल्प के लिए पूछ रहा है एम आई पेइंग अटेंशन टू इट और नॉट मेरा सेंसरी थ्रेश कैसा है मेरा सेंसरी सेंसरी ऑब्जर्वेशन मेरी कैसी है ओके दिस इज बेसिकली हाउ सेंसिटिव एम आई टू स्टिमिलाई और द प्रेजेंस और एब्सेंस ऑफ स्टिमिलाई एंड माई रिस्पॉन्स बायस राइट ऑल माई मोटिवेशनल फैक्टर्स ऑल माई एक्सपीरियंस एंड एवरी इज इंक्लूडेड हियर सो दिस इज द सेंसरी एक्सपीरियंस राइट and this is the non sensory part of it which is basically i am biased towards responding in a certain particular way because either of my uh, previous experience maybe because of uh, me being motivated like i told you earlier that i might say it's an ice cream truck even when it's not because i am biased towards this particular Uh, stimulus in the environment i want to see it more there therefore i will say it is present more all right तो बेसिक सिग्नल डिटेक्शन एक्सपेरिमेंट में क्या हुआ तो दो सिचुएशंस यहाँ पे पैदा किए हैं जहाँ पे एक सिचुएशन में स्टिमुलस है लेट्स से कोई साउंड आपको सुना रहे हैं ओके okay? सो so, कोई क्रिसमस सॉन्ग या कोई सॉन्ग बेसिकली और दूसरी ट्रायल जहाँ पे ये सेंसरी स्टिमुलस पैदा या प्रेजेंट नहीं है वहाँ पर आपको एक नॉइज़ ट्रायल दिया जा रहा है वेदर इज जस्ट सम काइंड ऑफ अ 
noise okay um, now let's repeat again in english because that's what we do um, okay so you either have the stimulus which could be a melodious song it could be a christmas jingle a very very faint sound so you shouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two very clearly all right um, so this would be your stimulus and this would be your noise trial so even if a stimulus is not present sometimes our sensory systems still get excited by the background noise and then it fires randomly like right? the neurons fire randomly and then they say oh i did hear the stimulus so you're basically you get really confused and then you end up making a mistake um let's look at what exactly happens so where i like i told you where the stimulus isn't present they are called noise trials these are also called catch trials because this is where you catch people making a mistake um the stimulus is called the signal and that is what you are trying to detect hum kya detect karne ki koshish kar rahe hain hum signal detect karne ki koshish kar rahe hain signal is nothing but a stimulus in the environment all right so like we know already now each trial is either a signal or it is a noise trial so the subject is asked to indicate whether or not whether or not a signal has been presented to so, signal agar ye song hai kya ye song hai kya aapko noise sunai de rahi hai to so, uh, har ek round mein subject ko dono mein se ek diya jayega and then subject ko bolna hai ki kya ye signal hai to hit hoga kya nahi hai to dekhenge kya hota hai yahan pe so what actually happens um and then how uh, do we measure we put receiver operating characteristic curves one once the full form of this was asked in net so please remember roc refers to receiver operating characteristic uh, so these curves are drawn to show how a person's responses are okay by measuring sensitivity and then um of a subject how they are receiving the signals how they are saying they are receiving the seg- signals let's look at one of these receiver operating characteristics curves okay this is how we will discuss the theory further okay sorry for that all right now what factors we know that sensory and non sensory non sensory factors are important for how we say we see um things or how we detect the signal or not so my signal here if i am detecting right is a hit correct maine detect kiya hai signal ab so jo signal kya hai yahan pe hamara signal song hai aur noise random noise hai right dono bahut faint uh, present hai so i can't tell you know i can't really easily tell the difference between the two so if it is actually that the signal is present the song is present and i said yes the song is present it's a hit so therefore it is a correct response see here also this is my curve right this is my roc curve so how are um, so you see that the responses are almost normally distributed the yes also the no also right um, and then what happens so here if um the signal is present and you say no it is not present right the signal is there but you said it is not present so it's a miss right you missed it here it was there but you missed it all right here a false alarm so the signal is not there the noise trial is there right the noise trial is there and you said that yes the signal is there so this becomes a false alarm ओके नहीं है सिग्नल आप बोल रहे हैं है सिग्नल तो ये फॉल्स अलार्म हो गया एंड देन करेक्ट रिजेक्शन इज व्हेन द सिग्नल इज नॉट प्रेजेंट एंड यू हैव सेड देयर इज नो सिग्नल सो दिस वुड बी अ करेक्ट रिस्पांस राइट हियर यू हैव अ मिस हियर यू हैव अ मिस एंड बोथ ऑफ दीज वुड बी करेक्ट सो रिमेंबर लाइक दिस ओके सो इफ द सिग्नल इज प्रेजेंट एंड यू सेड यस इट्स अ हिट इफ द सिग्नल इज नॉट प्रेजेंट एंड यू सेड इट इज प्रेजेंट देन इट्स अ मिस um if the signal isn't present but you said it's present then it's a false alarm and if you have correctly rejected the absence of a signal then it is a correct rejection now let's look at the curve what is most important here yahan pe sabse important kya hai ki aap dekh rahe hain ki yes kitni baar bola gaya hai usme se thode false alarm hai hai na kyunki yahan pe stimulus ya jo signal hai present nahi hai but maine kaha hai ha present hai so out of all of my yes responses some of these are false alarms right and out of all of my no responses some of uh, them are misses where the stimulus was present but i said it's not there 
all right so the ratio your sensitivity is basically the ratio of this to this and then your ratio of rejection would be this to this right so how many correct responses did you get and how many false alarms did you give whereas how many correct rejections did you give but how many misses did you give uh, very frequently what is focused here is the is the hit and the false alarm because there can be like i told you earlier yahan pe um, there can be a punishment for what there can sometimes be a punishment for the false alarm all right now this is not writing anymore what happened? all right one moment so sometimes all right so there is a punishment for false alarm that is why sort of when the stakes are higher you are going to respond with more yeses you are going to be very very careful when to respond and when not to respond to so, aapko questions kaise aate hain yahan pe ki false alarm ke liye kabhi kabhi punishment hota hai to tab aap bahut careful rahenge aap yes tabhi bolenge aap zyada misses denge आप फॉल्स अलार्म ज़्यादा नहीं देंगे कम करेंगे आप तभी यस yes बोलेंगे जब आप बिल्कुल श्योर sure होंगे दैट इज़ व्हाट इज़ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू रिमेंबर हियर आई होप यू लर्न समथिंग टुडे विद दिस आई हैड अ लॉट ऑफ फन एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस टू ऑल ऑफ यू गुड नाइट एंड इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो डू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर रिमेंबर वॉट दिस मेजर्स इज योर सेंजिटिविटी एंड योर रिस्पॉन्स बायस विच हैज़ मल्टीपल फैक्टर्स लाइक योर मोटिव your previous experiences etc which are part of it thank you so much for watching um like subscribe and share if you like the video you can join my telegram group at net with hafsa or you can come join me on an academy itself um i take a lot of classes there so just come to my group and find out all right and this is my telegram channel all right um goodbye and good night i will see all of you soon